I'm underneath this Seba speciosa tree. Seba used to be called Carissia speciosa, but they renamed it. And the tree has an interesting, uh, interesting thing happen to it. It was reassigned into another family. It used to be in a family that was named for a very close relative tree, the uh, Seba bombax. In fact, it's called the Bombacacia. And this tree was na renamed again Carissia from Chrissy to Seba, but the family has is now in the Malvasia. What's the Malvasia? That's the family of hibiscus and the family of cotton. And what's interesting is that these trees produce these pods. Now you look at them hanging from the tree, they hang down like this, they look like avocados. But they eventually open up and produce huge amounts, copious amounts of fibers, as you can see in this. Uh, this is a pod that fell from the tree. It looks like something has been feeding it. On it, looks almost like a woodpecker or a squirrel or even a rat have been feeding on it. What they're going after are the seeds. These seeds inside the fibers are very nutritious. And the local parrots and other birds, and now maybe even the squirrels or rats, have found that they're nutritious and will go after them. Now, if this looks kind of familiar, all this fiber in a pod, that's because the family it's just been reclassified into, the Malvasia, is the family of cotton. And yes, cotton does the same thing. It produces a pod with fibers and lots of seeds.